In this video, we're going to go over the Eon XR integration with Blackboard and LTI 1.3. First, let's look at the settings on the Eon side. In your admin portal, you go to settings. And you choose Advantage 1.3, LTI Advantage 1.3. I'll show you my settings here in Blackboard. These are going to be the same settings that you will use. Those settings are also on our online guide. Later on, we're going to add a deployment ID that we get from Blackboard. And then make sure when you choose the roles to select the plus button after choosing the roles and then hit done and save. So on the Blackboard side, going to be in the admin LTI tool providers. So system admin LTI tool providers. We're going to go ahead and add a, a tool. So we'll get the client ID from the Eon side that we just saw and Blackboard automatically fills in all of the fields once you hit submit gives you the deployment ID that you will need to copy and paste and put in Eon. Make sure the tool is approved and that you make the selections according to your institution. So going back to that tool, I'm going to hit approve and refresh. And now the next step is to manage placements. Go back to the tool provider, select Eon and the little arrow next to it. Open that and select Manage Placements. We're going to set up a deep linking tool. So I'll hit Edit and you'll see if we put the label, whatever you want to call the tool. I called it Eon XR. The handle, make it available, and then select Deep Linking Content Tool. It's up to you whether you want to allow student access or not. And launching a new window may or may not work depending on how you have set up your LTI. Make sure the target URL is there from the Eon side and submit. The next thing to do is make sure your tool is turned on. So back in the system admin settings, we'll go back again to down the very bottom tools and scroll till you see your tool. Make sure the availability is showing on. Submit. Now we will look at how Blackboard works in an external tool and in an assignment. First, we're going to build content, pick the external tool, Eon XR. And now either by the search box on the top or by the sele lesson selection by picture, you just select it and it appears there in Blackboard. It'll go right to the lesson that you selected. The second way to do this would be to put it inside an ins at the assessment. So we go assessment, assignment, name the assignment, add the description, and then click the plus button at the bottom of the menu and add your external tool. Again, add the correct lesson that you want, your points, and submit. Now we have the content in two different ways, directly from the tool or within an assignment. So looking within an assignment, you can see it goes directly to that experience where you can start the lesson. And here we just see inside of a lesson with some of the different modalities within Eon XR. Now let's look at this from the student view, which we can do in Blackboard, switching to student preview. We'll go back to module two. And we see those two different ways of adding Eon content. So the first way from an external tool, you click that and you get right to the experience. The second way from within an assignment, again, click the external tool, also goes to the same place where you can experience this with within your desktop or from a mobile device. Now let's revisit the roles in Eon and the admin settings. Starting with the faculty roles, you'll see a lot of functions checked off there, including view all content and create content. Now let's look at the student roles. 
We highly recommend that students also view all content and create content so that they can experience finding models and adding them to their experiences. And that is the LTI 1.3 integration between ENXR and Blackboard.